When the Syrophoenician woman came to Jesus asking him to heal her daughter, he said, It is not fit for me to give the bread to the dogs. In Jesus' time, calling someone a dog was what the Jews did for the non Jews, the Gentiles. It was a racial slur word that the Jews used on the Gentiles. So here's a question for you. Was Jesus being racist? Some people start with the assumption that Jesus was born perfect and came out of Mary's womb saying the Our Father fully formed like a demigod of Greek mythology but the Gospels actually say that he learned things as he went along when he was 12 years old he went to the temple and he questioned the priests and his parents got angry and disciplined him the epistles, Paul's writings, say that he learned obedience by the things that he suffered. So you see evidence of Jesus in the Gospels and in the epistles. Learning things. You find also in the Gospels that he had several encounters with Gentiles who exhibited great faith. And his words were, I have not seen such great faith even in the house of Israel. You see that he was surprised at the faith that this couple of Gentiles had, the centurion and the Syrophoenician woman. He was surprised that Gentiles could have faith, and such great faith, greater than he found in the house of Israel. As a little Jewish boy growing up in those days, he would have been brought up in the Jewish ways, learning the Torah, learning the culture, which basically said that Jews were the chosen people of God and everyone else were somehow inferior. You see that behavior when Jesus met the Syrophoenician woman and he said, it is not right that I give the children's bread to the dogs, calling her a dog. But through that encounter with her and with the centurion, Gentiles, he was challenged. His cultural expectations were challenged. And he grew. He changed. And he saw that faith is not about race. Faith is about belief in God.